Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and that we can connect. As you see by the title below, today's video is going to be a mall overview slash haul. I wanted to make this video a more high-end video where I unbox a beautiful luxury good but I didn't like the discounts. The online sales were way better than the in-store uh, range of products available. But I still went and made some great purchases that I really love. And I will share them with you guys. I know these videos are so popular and that you guys love seeing hauls and um, hearing my overview of the different pieces. So I'm definitely gonna try and make more of these videos. So I have the budget to buy something from a more high-end brand like Michael Kors and Coach and I really wanted to buy a good quality um, bag even if it meant buying like a nice clutch or buying a sling bag and I'm gonna say that high-end products doesn't mean that you are cooler or you have a better life or that you need them you don't need luxury goods to live a healthy good life but if you feel like luxury products make you happy and they enhance your way of living then it's your personal decision whether you would like to buy it or not I also believe that it's not necessary to go and take out credits in order to pay for these goods um, you should make sure that you can maintain a good lifestyle before going ahead and purchasing these expensive goods so having said that, Louis Vuitton and Gucci aren't in my price range as of yet. I would love to invest in one one day and share it on this platform with you guys. But I'm not there yet. I will get there and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video in the future. I specifically went to Santon in order to look at their in-store purchases uh, for high-end goods. As I said, online sales for Michael Kors and Coach were better. I know the outlet stores of Coach in America specifically can have handbags that range from $100 to $150. But as you know, South African sales suck and I was quite disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, I went to Santa Mall expecting something bigger, better, the sales to be incredible, the handbags to have a wide range and variety and unfortunately I left a little bit disappointed and I thought that I would get something and I didn't. But nevertheless, still love everything that I got. I was like I'm here, let me just spoil myself, let me buy the things that I still want and enjoy wearing and that's what I did. I still went on a shopping spree. Santon City Mall has this ambience and atmosphere of luxury. I strongly believe in the power of meditation and manifesting and in order for you to reach something that you dream of you need to manifest and it's very good like for a psychological healthy mind to you know be in a good environment i believe that that's very important we went with tasha's at the nelson mandela square i am obsessed with tasha's interior decoration and their style their restaurants are absolutely beautiful and their food are just as delicious their pastas and burgers are quite popular they have everything for everyone grill a piece of steak for you a pasta if you want a fresh salad i got a rocket salmon capers asparagus and cottage cheese salad it was delicious and my mom got um grilled cake with peas and chips.
right, so I'm going to show you guys what I bought in Santon. So the first thing is from Forever New. Forever New had a 25% off discount on almost everything in their store. And I found this gorgeous belt. As you can see, it ties through the buckle and it has no holes in the belt itself. This would look great with summer pants like white jeans or a skirt. The next thing I got was in the Lancome store in Santon and I got a mascara. But before I go and show you guys how it looks like, they had a private collection for perfume and my favorite, absolutely favorite scent from the private collection was the Rose and Peonies. I will never forget that fresh floral smell. This is the mascara. So I got the Idol Lash Mascara from Lancome. Lengthen and give you an eye opening effect with extra volume and lift. I don't know about you, but I don't like clumpy lashes. So I told the sales lady that I want something that goes through all the hairs in your eyelashes, but it gives you this like smooth finish. How beautiful is this rose gold and black packaging? I used to always use the Lancome Doll Lash Effect Mascara, and I always loved that it smelled a little bit like rose, but this one doesn't smell like any anything in particular. No, this one just smells like normal mascara, but nevertheless, I'm sure it, it will work just as fine. So this is the brush itself. It has smaller bristles for you to go through the smaller lashes. So I got a pair of sandals at Country Road. And as you know that it's a clever idea to go and purchase something that you would want to wear in summer while it is winter because you get the best deals for summer items. These are genuine leather, which is great because they will give me a comfortable wear throughout the day. They are almost like gladiators and they wrap around your ankle and they fasten around the ankle. How beautiful are they? Last but not least is this Puma purchase. This is the box and guess what's inside? Been wanting trainers like this for the longest time. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. <laughs> I know that I will wear these for a very, very long time, even in summertime. Super trendy. Okay, let's start with the story of why I got specifically these. And I actually wanted the Nike ones. They are the M, I think it's the MK2 Technos from Nike Air. They were sold out. I couldn't find them anywhere. I went into Atterbury Value Mart. I went into the online store and regular stores and I just couldn't find them because they were so popular and sold out at most of the stores nationwide. I went into Puma, I saw these gorgeous trainers and I was so scared that they would be sold out the next day. So without thinking twice, I just went ahead and purchased these. Let's, let me be honest with myself. It was the best purchase. I love the different material patches on the shoe itself. And this shoe makes my foot look so tiny and bougie. And because I'm already a size seven shoe, I was scared that the bulkiness of the platform would make my feet look even bigger, but they don't. They complement the size of your foot. It's not dirt proof and the color is risky, but I have some cleaning methods that I googled, so I'm sure that I will be able to clean them every time. There we go, that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more from me, remember to subscribe, like this video, and comment whether you like my trainers. And I have a couple of new videos coming up, so just stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.